Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the MSI GTX 275. It's a DirectX 10 card and won't support the latest games, but I thought we'd push it to its limit today and test it with some of the latest and greatest DirectX 10 titles. There's also a little bit of bad news at the end of this video. We ended up pushing this thing a little bit too hard, but if you're in the market for building yourself a DirectX 10 based gaming PC for whatever reason, is this still a decent mid-range choice as it was when it released back in 2009. Well, let's get into some games and find out what this old beast can do. So we started off with one of my favourite Assassin's Creed games and the last to support DirectX 10, which is Black Flag. Here at 720p with the low settings, the game averaged 24 FPS, but came in with a minimum of 11. As you can see there, the GPU is running at 96 to 100% load almost all of the time. Next Next up it's Crisis. Can it run it? Well yes it can, even at 1080p with the low settings to average 30 frames per second. Sure it doesn't look that great but it performs pretty well and you could probably even crank things up to medium if you didn't mind sacrificing a few frames to come in at about 28 or 29. What I didn't know though is when you get this close to tanks it literally just takes one shot to blow you up as you saw right there. Next up it's GTA 4 before we test the uh, later release GTA 5 and here at 900p with the medium settings because it seemed to make no difference whatsoever depending on whatever resolution we set the game on we averaged 25 fps but encountered a minimum of two as you saw there the game stuttered horrifically on some occasions and just to let you know we've also got this card overclocked but I'll talk more about that a little later on Metro Last Light Redux here again at 720p uh, with the low settings to average 20 fps with a minimum of 12 as the bullets continue to fly here the frame rate continue to get lower with our GPU maxing out at 100% usage almost all of the time as you can see in the top left corner there but I don't think it was a terrible performance put it that way Finally, the best performer and newest game in the bunch, GTA 5. Again, at 720p resolution, we actually saw 35 frames per second on average, with a minimum of 19. Now, this game actually performed the best, and I could happily play GTA on this 1.8 gigabyte graphics card. But, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'll be doing so for much longer, and here's why. So as the day went on, I started to get like green lines on the screen, little artifacts all over the place, and I could only put it down to the fact that perhaps the card was on its last legs and that it was dying. I carried on with the benchmarks anyway, but unfortunately the card just decided to stop working from what I can gather from this message on screen. I've tried it in another system as well to try and narrow it down, and again, the same result. I made sure that I changed the thermal paste because after years this can get dried up and make the card run hot but I also changed that too. Tried the VGA connector, tried the DVI connector but there seems to be nothing I can do to bring this card back to life. It's actually like I have used it to the point of death. I started getting strange artifacts on the screen and a few green lines here and there before I even overclocked it but I thought I'd roll with it anyway and from what I can tell the results still seem to be on par with that from other GTX 275 benchmarks I've seen but I'll just have to investigate the matter further. Maybe I'll try the old fashioned oven method you know where you stick the GPU in the oven see if you can bring it back to life but... <laughs> If I do try that, I'll be sure to document it and show you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go try and fix this card now. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you can find a working 275, then it's still an okay graphics card for older DX9 and DX10 titles. Although you'd be lucky to see over 30 FPS if you wanted to play some of the latest and last DirectX 10 titles out there. So thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.